Well, we've made it to Wild Card Weekend and the Indianapolis Colts, a team that has won five, nine out of ten games traveling to Houston to play the Texans. They know each other well. What are we thinking? Yeah, you're, you just said it. They won the last nine out of ten. They're one of the hottest teams in the NFL right now. They just went to Tennessee against another division rival, got that win to get into playoffs. I don't know if – listen, I think they're the hottest team right now, and the Houston Texans have not proven to me that they can take away T.Y. Hilton down the field. And this Colts offensive line has been dominant. They're one of the best office, young offensive lines in the league. I'm going with the Colts to win this game. I've seen T.Y. get all those yards yep. versus the Texan defense. They try to press them unsuccessful. They try to play off. Isn't happening. Play action pass shots. All of that. I just got to believe Romeo Cornell defensive coordinator for the Houston Texans comes with a plan to have somebody over T.Y. Hilton. I'm taking the Houston Texans. Look. Take away T.Y. Hilton. If Eric Ebron beats you, congratulate him. I but I you. love I, I, I recognize how hot the Indianapolis Colts are. I love Darius Leonard, the rookie linebacker, but I just want to take the Houston Texans in this one at home. That's where I'm going. You with me? You go, nope. You're not with I'm me? Going with the Colts, big fella. Well, you heard it. We'll see who wins. The Seattle Seahawks are traveling to Dallas to play the Cowboys. This game's not going to last very long. It's not going three hours because they're all going to pound that rock and that right. clock's going to wind down and down and down. And this is going to be a run game, a nine on seven drill. Who are you taking here? I'm taking the Cowboys if the Cowboys can limit Tyler Lockett down the field. No splash plays. If they can limit the splash plays, make Russell Wilson earn it down the field. If it's a 10 yard or 10 play, 12 play drive, so be it. No big plays over the top. I think the Cowboys come in and the running game becomes a factor. Zeke absolutely becomes a factor they win this one. I'm with you. I'm going to take the Dallas Cowboys on this one. And my whole philosophy for the Dallas Cowboys is this. Get a body on Bobby. If you get a body on Bobby Wagner, the, the Pro Bowl linebacker for Seattle Seahawks, you're going to win the football game. Because if you let him run unblocked sideline to sideline, he'll make he's every single you. play. Absolutely. He'll make 15. He'll make 20 tackles. Yeah. Get off the line of scrimmage. Get those guards, fullbacks, whatever it may be, tight ends, somebody on Bobby. Get a body, and you're going to have a good day. So Darren and I both think the Dallas Cowboys are moving on in the NFL playoffs. The Los Angeles Chargers go cross country to play the Baltimore Ravens. Just about two weeks ago, the Ravens went into their house, slapped them around, yeah. got the victory. What do you think is going to happen now? Not happening this time around. Not happening this time around. Why not? The Los Angeles Chargers saw Lamar Jackson. They understand what they're, what they're getting. The read option. They're going to be more disciplined this time around. They travel up to Baltimore. De defensively, they'll be ready. And offensively, the Los Angeles Chargers will win one-on-one -on -one battles with that defensive crew this time around. Phillip Rivers wins this football game. Did you see what that Raven rush did, did to Phillip Rivers yes. in the second half? They sacked him four times in the second half. I'm taking the Baltimore Ravens in this one. I think Suggs and the rushers are going to do the same thing to exploit the protection problems of the Los Angeles Chargers. They had a great season. They had a great season. Congratulations. But I'm tired of all the offenses, the, all the course of the year scoring yeah. all these points. The playoffs are where defenses take control again. You still want to go with the Chargers? I'm going with Phillip Rivers. Rivers wins this football game. Get him, you get him, LJ. Lamar Jackson to the house. All right, buddy, Eagles at the Bears. I'm torn on this one because the Eagles are hot. It seems like Nick Foles is back. He's the quarterback that he was in the last postseason when they won the Super Bowl. I mean, the Eagles defense is playing well, too. Where are you going to go? They're scary right now. This Eagles team is scary, and they're a team right now that can rush the passer. Like you just said, Nick Foles has brought life to this team. But I'm going with Chicago Bears mm -hmm. at home. When we talk about defense the entire, this entire season, the consistency has been the Chicago Bears, how they get to the passer, how they force turnovers, and I think they'll force turnovers this week. Tariq Cohen becomes an X factor in this football game. Part, I'm going with you. I'm going to take the Bears on this, too. A part of me is nervous, though, about Trubisky yeah. and him trying to do too much and feeling playoff pressure. I just want him to realize you got the best defense in the game right there on your on your sideline. Let them win the game. Nick Foles, man, I know he's got some magic going yeah. again. I know this is this is something that I think you and I are both sort of. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I just gotta go defense. My my gut says defense. My history says defense. The Bears. Bears. Darren and me.